بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته معكم زميلكم أخوكم منظر العيسى من كليات الفرابي طبيب امتياز بداية أنا أحب أشكر دكتور مازن على هذه المبادرة وعمالة هذه مغريبة على دكتور مازن فهو دائما دكتور ورجل محب لنشر العلم والخير Our topic is effectiveness of irrigation during root canal treatment Actually the effectiveness of irrigation or the types of the irrigation it's a big topic خلينا أوصف لك إياه مثل البحر عمالة الصورة عجبتني جدا فعشان كذا وضعتها مثل البحر وأنا جبت كاسة وأخذت من البحر موية شوي فهذا اللي راح نتكلم عليه اليوم لكن إن شاء الله المعلومات البسيطة هذا خفيفة تكون ثرية لك The objectives, introductions, classifications of irrigation, effective technique and conclusion Irrigation and disinfection Actually, this is two words and very important to know what's the differences between them Irrigation any device that you have it, you put water or any medical medicated fluid and to wash the body. Disinfection, no, disinfection that means destroy or inhibit the cavity of microorganisms that cause disease. Disinfection is very important in our irrigation because if we don't use it or we don't, if we don't use it, the patient will come back to your clinic with the failure root canal treatment. So disinfection is very important. The root canal morphology actually is extremely complex and one of the most complex in the human body. So I have to ask you the good questions. Why do we use irrigation? We use irrigation to get successful root canal treatment and there are some area we didn't reach it by mechanical instrumentations. So the chemical irrigation or the chemical solution will reach to the area. خلينا نوصل لك إياها في مناطق ما وصل لها بالهاند فاير أو بروتري فاير ما وصلت لها أو ما لمستها في الإيريجيشن هو اللي راح يغطي يغطيها لك بالكامل. The goals of irrigation is to dissolve the organic and the inorganic tissue. Actually, everyone knows this, بس خلينا نطلع عليها بشكل سريع. Facilitate the killing and removal of microorganisms, necrotic tissue, and inflammatory tissue and dentin debris. Reduce friction between two instruments and dentin. Improve the cutting effectiveness of the file and dissolved tissue. Call the file, especially during the use of ultrasonic energy. The classification of irrigation. Actually, the irrigation is chemical solution. We have two types. We have active. We have inactive. Inactive, that means normal saline and local anesthetic solution. Let's come to the chemically active solutions. We have many types of solution, but uh, I'm going to focus on the most common type that we use it in our clinic. Alkaline solutions from which is the sodium hypochlorite and also the chelating aging EDTA and other clodoxidine and what you can take screen shot of this one and these are common irrigation solutions the sodium hypochlorite and EDTA, clodoxidine and sterile water or saline the sodium hypochlorite, actually the percentage or the concentrations of sodium hypochlorite between 0.5 to the 6 percentage. But let's come this good question. Why the sodium hypochlorite is the most important irrigation in the root canal treatment? Why? Because it dissolves organic matter in the canon. And the only one solution that will dissolve الأورجانيك ماتر هو المحلول و... يعني الوحيد اللي موجود عندنا راح يذيب لك الأورجانيك تيشو أورجانيك ماتر so and also have removing necrotic tissue and has strongest the strongest antibacterial effect and will affect directly on the vital function of microbial cell let's come to the EDTA the percentage come between 17 and 15 solutions. The DTA will affect the organic part of dentine and smear layer. قبل شوي قلنا الصليم هيبكتورايت will affect the organic 
اما ال EDTA will affect the inorganic سؤال جدا مهم او نقطتين هذه مهمة جدا ممكن قد تجيك في اختبار الهيئة has little or no antimicrobial activity and some studies suggested that EDTA has antifungal therapy yes the weakness the bacterial membrane without killing the cells let's come to the last one chlorhexidine chlorhexidine is cytotoxic to the human cells doesn't dissolve organic and or organic matter it will attack the microbial cells or outer membrane in the killing of microbes kills blanketonic bacteria much more slowly than sodium hypochlorite ممكن تقول لي اوكي شو الفائده من الكليروكسيدين؟ الفائده الوحيده اللي ممكن او الفائده اللي تخلينا نستخدم الكليروكسيدين هو انها بنس تو ذا هارت تيشو اند ريمينز انتي مايكروبيال. This is why we or this is the reason that promise us to use it in our clinic. هذه الصوره كانت في اول سنه كانت في مستشفى الجامعي عندنا في كليه الفرابي. المراجع اللي جاني كان يعاني من الم شديد. والله الحمد طلع من عندي خلصت في جلسة واحدة طلع من عندي آه الألم مختفي تماما آه فبدأ يدعي لي دعوات يعني خلاني آه أستشعر بقيمة العلاج اللي أنا قدمته له فبديت حبيت من هنا بديت حبيت التخصص إني لازم أنا أطور من نفسي أبدأ أتعلم فوالله الحمد يعني من هذه اللحظة أنا استشعرت إن إن علاج العصب أو الإندو جدا جدا جميل فمن هنا بديت أعشق تخصص من هنا بدأت قصتي. Let's come back to our questions or our second questions. What about combinations? Let's combine between sodium hypochlorite and EDTA. The tissue that have been exposed to EDTA is not effectively dissolved by sodium hypochlorite. And this is very important one. When the smear layer removed is completely by EDTA. The sodium hypochlorite should not be used again. Why? Because we don't want erosions in our dentine wall. So please don't use the sodium hypochlorite after EDTA or thoracic acid. Come here. What about combinations of sodium hypochlorite and chlorhexidine? Many study that say there is no significant differences in percentage of remaining debris, but there is interactions between or and affected the potency of the interior tubules. And there is a study, and the topic is there is a study for the tongue boy. The evaluations of interaction between sodium hypochlorite and the chlorhexidines and its effects in road dentine. The group A, five millimeters of of 5.25 percentage of sodium hypochlorite was used as irrigation and lifted in the canal. Then 5 millimeters to percentage of chlorhexidine was used as a final irrigation. This is the group A. The group B, group B here, 5 millimeters of sodium hypochlorite and the percentage 5.25 percentage. They use it as irrigation, then they immediately use paper point to dry the canal and remove the excess of sodium hypochlorite. Then they use a final irrigation, 5 millimeters to percentage of chlorhexidine. The result, they say here, there is no statistically significant differences were found. And this is very important also. You have to use sterile water or saline between two irrigation solutions. Why? To avoid or to prevent chemical reactions between them. Smear layer. The smear layer is the dentine that that comes from the cutting uh, during the root instrument or the hand file. Why we remove smear layer? This is also important question. Uh, دائما اقول لك امبورت كويشنز لان هذه اشياء جدا مهمه وجدا ثمينه لازم انت تعرفها في علاجك او في اثناء علاج العصب. Why should we remove smear layer because in predictable thickness and volume and has a great consist of water and also has bacteria and necrotic tissue 
and the bacteria may survive. The وجود البكتيريا ما شلنا السمير لير. البكتيريا الموجودة هذه راح تأثر على العلاج وراح يسبب لنا فيلير of root canal of our root canal treatment. And also act as a barrier between two filling materials. But this is good question, and everyone would like to remove the smear layer. But how to remove smear layer? By EDTA, many many studies, دراسات كثيرة 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 موجودة موجودة كيف نشيل نشيل السمير لير لكن وكيف النسبة اللي نستخدمها حق ال EDTA. ال EDTA في نسب كثيرة في سبعة عشر ستين ستين five even one. will remove the smear layer يعني حتى نسبة واحد بالمية من ال EDTA will remove the smear layer but the question is how long and should I put the EDTA to remain in the root canal or the cavity of the canal it's only two minutes many study that suggested two minutes yes and this is the smear layers after instrumentation And this is the smear layers after we use sodium hypochlorite and final irrigation by ADTA, as you see here. But this is a very important one, and I mentioned to you before. When smear layer removed by ADTA, we never, or we should, we shouldn't use sodium hypochlorite. Why? Because we want to avoid dentine erosion. Our conclusion: the irrigation is the key of uh, the key part of successful root canal treatment. The sodium hypochlorite has strongest antibacterial and dissolved organic tissue. EDTA is used to remove the inorganic and the smear layer. And don't forget, please, to use the normal saline between two types of irrigations. And thank you. شكرا لكم شكرا على استماعكم المحاضرة أتمنى المحاضرة كانت خفيفة ولطيفة عليكم في حال وجود أي استفسار أو أي ملاحظة هذه حساباتي في موقع التواصل الاجتماعي ممكن تتواصلوا معي فيها في حال وجود أي ملاحظة أو أي معلومة ممكن أنا سمح الله أني أنا غلطت فيها أو شيء تراني مو معصوم على الغلط ودائما أستفيد وأتعلم منكم فشكرا لكم شكرا على استماعكم قبل أن أختم أحب أشكر دكتور مازن على هذه المبادرة وأكرر شكري له وأشكر دكتور أيمن مندورة لأنه طلع على البرزنتيشن وأعطاني شوية ملاحظات فألف شكر لكم واستقبل استفساراتكم هذه حساباتي في موقع التواصل الاجتماعي شكرا لكم